Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out top-notch British humor displayed in memes. Now this first meme I've already seen in another curation of memes. Yeah, it's a downgrade. That's it. This is accurate. British people right before they completely insult someone. I mean, bless her. I love her to bits, but... Yeah, British people are so polite, even when they're insulting you. This does remind me of a uh, southern U.S saying which is bless her heart or bless bless your heart it means you're kind of dumb and i feel sorry for you <laughs> i love her to bits but i mean bless her i love her to bits but she's a total cunt next morning of my dad's wedding i was 14 why do i look like a disgraced uk ip candidate i already saw this one too in another video but yeah he totally looks like he's running for office Jane's a genius. Unsociable people. Simply pop your coat on before answering your front door. If it's someone you don't want to see, you can say you're on your way out. In the unlikely event it's someone you do want to see, you can simply say you've just arrived home. That is genius. Jane Hool Garner of St. Ives. Good technique. The perfect job doesn't exist. <laughs> Charlie Palmer, garlic bread expert. Wow, that's a job? I would expect someone a little more overweight. Imagine what he must smell like. The UK is a different place when the sun's out. <laughs> His pants are down. He's wearing boxers. And so I guess he's not nude. I bet it feels good. We can't see it, but he's probably got his testicles poking out. That's a thing, apparently. Sunbathing your testicles. What's it called? Ball bathing? Not only is there no benefit to tanning your testicles in the sun, there's also no benefit to exposing your testicles to red light therapy. Here's an article called Unpacking Testicle Tanning, the so-called Spermageddon and Shedding Light on Medical Misinformation. <gasps> Look at this guy. Oh, Tucker Carlson was spreading this. Not surprised. All he does is spread misinformation, right? <laughs> if Stranger Things was British. Bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> like this, this is good. This is great. <laughs> Have you seen the latest episode of Bit Odd, isn't it? In the UK right now, a train is delayed as a cat is sitting on the roof and refusing to come down. I love that the conductor did not start the train with the cat on top. In America, I'm afraid this cat would be dead from falling off the train. Or from cat aids. Thrilling chase underway here. Pallets wanted. And he's chasing a truck that's loaded with pallets. That's good. That's great. What are the chances that this would happen in real life? If you can read this, you are not a train. Stay off the tracks. They are only for trains. If you can read this, you are not a train. I saw this one in another video as well. And I remember saying that trains probably can read because of AI. It's, it's, this is outdated. Only in the UK. Rail replacement. I'm a, I'm a train. Choo choo. <laughs> and there's even a graphic of a train. Wow. Creative. Accidentally searched Gordon Ramsay's. Was not disappointed. <laughs> Made us laugh a pharaoh mount. Oh, wow. Double puns in here. Ramsay's was an Egyptian pharaoh? This is funny. On two levels. Three levels. This is what genius marketing looks like. Come in and try the worst coffee one woman on TripAdvisor had in her life. <laughs> That's great marketing. Uh, that makes me want to try it. You know, when you walk around New York City, every place that sells coffee pretty much says they have the world's best coffee. And I love that this place is going against that. I'm trying something different. I like it. Genius. Way to go. My husband is a cereal doodler and every packet in my kitchen ends up like this. <laughs> he puts faces on everything. I love that. That's great. My brother and I used to do that when we were kids. Right. You can already tell this is British because he says right at the beginning. Right. Just to get things straight, this is the dog me dad took a photo of yesterday. So some dope spotted and decided to take pictures of me dad's van and post it all over Facebook, telling everyone to watch your dogs, basically saying he's going around pinching dogs. He took the photo because he couldn't get over how fat the dog was. <laughs> 
is a bad dog. <laughs> He's a plasterer, not a dog pincher. And if he was to go pinch a dog, it wouldn't be that fat lump. <laughs> Look at that poor dog. <laughs> this poor dog. Oh, man. Ah, ah. That is a fat dog. Poor little guy. Almost looks like a bear or a sheep. It's easy for a dog to overeat, isn't it? We just want to give them treats, make them happy. And that's all they want, really. She's had a tough life. She's been to... Helen Bach. <laughs> what a great name. Ah, uh, props to her parents. Screaming. Mom, all I could think of was, I'm so glad I have attractive kids. I hadn't realized that you all being beautiful wasn't normal. Sat through too many Zooms today, and at the risk of sounding shallow, at one of the meetings, two women started talking and sharing pics of their kids. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's hilarious. I'd be curious to see these photos of her kids compared to the photos of these other kids. She might be biased. You know, most people in the world are ugly. We gotta, like, but they're people too, right? Or we're people too. Am I ugly? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes I feel really ugly. I am in shock. Lived in this flat for two years and only just discovered today it has a dishwasher. <laughs> what? I thought it was a fake cupboard. I've wasted days of my life washing up. Wow. Two years. And the dishwasher was right there. They did too good of a job hiding it. That's good cabin cabinetry. Too good. Can you imagine? This is like, I've seen videos on YouTube of someone discovering that they had a basement and they didn't even know it, or an attic space and they, they just realized it. This is the same, except more practical and more life-changing. This has to be the sweetest text anyone has ever received. Granny, hiya. I have put two pounds into your account. Granny. Can you buy yourself an advent calendar from us, please? Hope you're okay. Missing you. Love you loads. Oh, surely you can't buy an advent calendar for two pounds, can you? No, that's adorable. Oh, Granny. Very excited to announce that after foregoing small joys, working hard, and never going on holiday, I'm now continuing to rent <laughs> for more money than ever before. I added the ever. When I see posts of people saying how they just bought a house, I think it's great, but at the same time I am kind of like, oh man, I don't have a house. Great attitude though, I love that. My grandma lost her glasses while making banana bread. She was blaming everyone in the house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's also some black chunks in the bread, I wouldn't eat it. Imagine getting out of prison after 10 years and seeing the police clowning you on Twitter. <gasps> how it started, how it's going. Oh, that's money he's holding. It took me forever. I thought, what is he holding? Are those lottery tickets? <laughs> it's English money or British money, right? Poor guy. He did his time. No need to rub his face in it. Ten years. Dang. Are you okay, babe? You have barely touched your British tapas. <laughs> Brown and yellow are the best tasting foods, really. They got some chips there, some crisps, some baked beans. Some smiley face potato things, maybe? Fish nuggets? Miniature pizzas? Mozzarella sticks? Dinosaur nuggets? Waffle fries? Candy? Calamari, which is actually just pig butthole. But that's fried goodness, y'all. Asked my dad why he doesn't just use the microwave to warm the sausage roll, but apparently it's not the same, and there's an art to it. So here we are. <laughs> He's heating sausage rolls with a radiator. I, I, I can understand that. You try it once and it's really good. Uh, and and you're like, yeah, he's conserving energy. Way to go, Dad. Barbara was highly relatable. For Barbara, who was awful when hungry, but otherwise pretty solid. <laughs> that's everyone. Yeah, that's totally relatable. Barbara, I feel you. My sister. Or brother, depending on Barbara's... Preference. Sorry, love. We'll be home late. Roads closed. Enough said. <laughs> I assume that the bear is a pub. That's brilliant. Way to get good business. Good marketing. 
Not sure it posting in the right place. I bet they meant if. So I'm going to read it with if. Not sure if posting in the right place, but does anyone know where I can find Voila and what it is exactly? We've got the bread, just missing the voila. <laughs> Thanks. Voila. Just add bread and voila. <laughs> okay. I, I read voila as if it was English, but I know it's not, y'all. What is that stuff? It looks like liver pate. Don't eat organs, y'all. Me looking at my bank balance. Wow, 50p. <laughs> I think p is pence. Is it like cents in America? I think so. Maybe I should look that up. Pence. <laughs> Mike Pence comes up, of course. There are 100 pence to the pound. Okay, yeah. It's like our... Is that why a penny's called a penny? Come to Birmingham. Birmingham, excuse me. Enjoy the views. Breathtaking for the wrong reasons. Yeah, why are there benches there? Facing the highway. The motorway, excuse me. Toaster never taken out of the box. Something feels wrong here. I don't get it. What am I missing? Oh, in the picture it says two slice toaster, but it shows one slice. Is that what it is? This one went over my head. Whoever sold this iPad to my nan, I hope you're proud of yourself. Pedestrians push button and wait or signal. Is this a common contraption in Britain that I don't know about? Is this the thing that you push to let the traffic system know you want to cross the road? And someone took one off and sold it to an old lady? Y'all, scammers are everywhere. Con artists. Our nans are the most susceptible. They're the biggest targets. Can't stop laughing at the sheep my dad saw today. Absolutely unit. Whoa. That thing might be part hog. Or cow. Is that its dong? Yeah. That's a fitting dong for that sheep. A bellend. My driving test went so well that they invited me back to do a second one and even a third one. And his name is Ross Road. How oh, unfortunate. I mean, driving's not that hard. Come on. Come on, Ross Road. Get on the road. He needs to let it go already. <laughs> or let it grow out. Don't cut it. That's something I'd like to see. Oops, 1049, Sunday, 23rd August. Ma'am, you came in seven this morning, pulled curtains down in living room, slipped on the rug, poured a vodka drink, and then had a bath and nearly drowned. All a bit of a piss take, don't you think? Sort it out, Caitlin. You're 22 now. <laughs> I mean, 22 is still young enough to be making mistakes like this. You're good, Caitlin. You got 10 more years of pulling rugs down and causing havoc. You're good. You're okay. Just filled my car up with petrol and bought a Twix. Eight grand. I guess they're just talking about how expensive things are. I don't totally get it. Or maybe I do get it and I just don't think it's that funny. I'm not sure. Literally take all of my money at this point. Mall teasers. Party bucket. Are those just really good? They look like malted milk balls. Hmm. I guess I get it. I don't really think it's that funny. Moving on. Nah, I'm howling, so my dad's just found out my ma vapes, and he's just sent this into my family GC. What's a GC? Am gutted. AV married a vapist. What? I don't get it. I guess I don't know what GC is. Is it like a family text thread? General communication? What's England like? <laughs> 1640? 1711? Wow, in that short of time, that, uh, the weather changed. I've heard that a lot. I think it's probably does that because it's out in the ocean all by itself. Bad weather just kind of flies over and then, then it's clear and then it, then it starts raining and then it's clear. New girl at Greg's doesn't know the bacon to BAP ratio yet. That's a good, that's like, that's a lot of bacon, right? Thumbs up, new girl. Yeah. What is a BAP exactly? A BAP at its simplest, a bread roll. At its more complicated, it is a tender pillow of dough often made with milk, lard, and butter, a more humble Scottish version of the brioche. The bap is ideal bread for a simple meat sandwich. It does look good. Looks kind of like an English muffin to me. 
Every time money leaves my bank account because I've spent it. <laughs> Adele looks great without makeup. I know that's what we're all thinking. The disrespect in thinking that we would use french fries in a chip buddy. Just learned about chip buddies, which is an English food that is literally, literally just french fries in between two slices of bread. This is just making me so irrationally angry. I've never tried a chip buddy, but it does seem like pretty good. Like you, it's like bread and fries are, excuse me, chips, two of the greatest foods. Put them together. Wonderful. You know you've crumbled when your mom texts you this. Mom, did you fancy the engineer you went bright red when we walked in? <laughs> Mom's calling her out. Mom knows our daughter's body. Can't believe it's been three years since I visited the Louvre in Paris. Can't wait to go traveling again. <laughs> it does look like the pyramid out in front of the Louvre, doesn't it? Asda. What's that? It's a grocery store? It looks like a grocery store. What is Asda? Supermarket chain. Its headquarters are in Leeds. When someone doesn't believe me, so they Google it and see I'm right. <laughs> Is that from, uh, that baking show? Me, just a quiet one tonight. I've got work in the morning. Me at the cash machine at 3 a.m. <laughs> That's terrifying. Hey, Dad, I just wanted to let you know I got my dream job today. Okay. I don't understand. UK supermarkets with clock towers. Britain has the world's best architecture in its supermarkets. <laughs> Yeah, that does seem unnecessary, doesn't it? It does look nice. Yeah, clock towers are great. More clock towers we need. France is actually bare close in it. I could probably jump that. Where's France? Oh, okay, I do see it way down there in the bottom. Yeah, it looks so close. I've heard that you can see across there. You can see the cliffs of Dover from France. You probably could jump that from that high. Yeah. You could jump that. That's it. Well, some of these were really great. Some of them were repeats, but that's understandable. Anyway, this was a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching it with me, and I'll see you all next time. Later.